Hey everybody and welcome to the basement. I'm Matt and you're looking at an RCA VBT 200 VHS VCR. Now this is pretty cool because this is the first VHS VCR released in the United States and we're going to see if we can get this one working again. See what kind of condition it's in and if it will play and just kind of what the technology was like back when we got our first VHS VCRs. Now it's a pretty slick machine. I love these top loaders. I love anything with knobs and with some good wood grain on it. Wood grain and metal just is perfect for electronics in my opinion. So we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna hook it up and we're gonna see how well it works. If it will work at all not sure haven't even tried it out yet so we're going to figure this out together let's get started so these vcrs were first released in 1977 as you can see here this one was made in february of 1978 pretty awesome to have in the collection there's the serial number These are the ports that you would have on it. So we got VHF, we can hook up coaxial in and out. This would go from here to your TV. Or you could hook up another machine and dub a video. You also have your audio and video inputs. UHF, hook it up to a TV, to an antenna, and record something that would come on TV. It's a huge, heavy machine, but that's how I like them. I like them thick. All right, so let's start by plugging the machine in and see if it even powers on. Now, as old as this thing is, there's a really good chance something's not going to work on it, but we're not sure. we got to figure that out. We're going to start by seeing if it even powers up. So I'm plugging it in now. Ooh, check that out. The clock came on. That's a really good sign. We're going to hit the power button now. It fired right up. Now, it sounds like something is automatically spinning, which is weird. It's the video head. It's just spinning automatically. Uh, should not be doing that, so that's an issue already. So let's see what happens when we put a tape in it. Let me find a tape that I really don't care about because this might be, <laughs> this might be really bad. All right, I got a blank tape. Not even sure if anything's on here. Just want to see what happens when I put it in. So turn it back on. Now my guess is that as what we typically see with machines this age is that it's a broken belt there's probably supposed to be a belt that will control the speed of the head spinning, but since there's no belt there, it's just spinning freely, and that's why it's going. But let's see if we, anything happens when we put a tape in. It's not taking the tape. Hit play, not doing anything. As a matter of fact, Nothing's doing anything. So we're just going to pop the tape right back out. And looks like we're going to have to open her up right off the bat. Which is pretty much what I expected. So let's do that. Let's get into it. See what's going on. Oh. Look how dusty... It is in here. Wow. Uh, gonna need a lot of cleaning. Check out these knobs. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I love this old stuff. So cool. Gonna need a lot of cleaning in here though. All right, so let's, uh, we'll hook it up and see what happens now as we turn it on. And you should be able to see, here, I'll move this back here. Should be able to see that video head just start spinning wildly so here we go we're going to plug it in and turn it on 
There it goes. It's just spinning like crazy. Nothing else seems to be moving. Check that out. It's a little unusual. All right. I think we're gonna really need to flip it over to see what's going on with this one and if there's a belt missing. So I'm gonna flip it over and take the bottom off now. <laughs> Check this out. I got the bottom cover off. Look at those circuit boards. Look how complex and intricate that is. Wow. I've gotta get to the other side of those to see about the belt issue for the video head. So let's keep going. Took a few screws out and now I'm gonna lift up. Check this out. Wow. Oh, and if we look right here, this is what goes to the video head. Get a light over here. And there's no belt around it. So now manually spinning this motor as you can see which should be setting the take up track and what my goal is i'm trying to see if it just needs to be reset if it's not in the right spot if it got stuck in a position where the machine doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing so i'm manually rotating it around and when i flip this back over i'll show you what I'm talking about. But let me go all the way to the end until it stops and then I'll power it on and see what happens. Okay, it looks like I've gotten to the end. When it starts to get a little tight, you better stop or you risk breaking some of the plastic gears off, which is not a good thing. So now I'm gonna power it back on and see what it does. Hey, -o, that's what I wanted to see. So that was good. It means it did something. It didn't look like it went all the way back. So this might just be a loose belt issue. It feels like it doesn't want to go anymore though. Let's try it again. All right, I've gone all the way back around again. All right, let's power it on, see what happens, see how, how long it spins before it resets itself. So here we go. All right. All right, that actually looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna Move the take up track all the way back around again. I'm gonna close it up on this side, flip it over so we can see what it looks like on the top side and then power it on and see how it functions. So let's go ahead and move the take up reel, take up track all the way back around. Okay, I got the machine flipped back over and as you can see, the take up track is in the position in which it thinks there's a tape in there that would have wrapped around the video head. You can see the track down here at the bottom. You can see the track down here and these pieces are at the back. So what should happen when I power this on, this thing's gonna reset itself since it's gonna know there's not a tape in there and it's gonna move back to the position where it's ready to accept the tape. So let's see if that happens now. There they go. So they went back up, video head still going. But the issue is, if I put a tape in, it doesn't accept the tape. It doesn't pull the tape in like it's supposed to. Everything is just not doing anything. So looking at this thing, I've noticed whenever I power it on, like right now, the lamp's not turning on. So this lamp, this bulb here, would have been used as an end of tape sensor. 
And so if you look at it, you may can see that it's, it's broken. It's burnt out. If you look on the inside of the bulb there. So I'm going to start by trying to replace that lamp and see what that does. Look how filthy that is. Man, this thing needs a lot of cleaning. Look down here. Oh my gosh. This thing is 45 years old though. Got a lot of cleaning to do on it. Let's replace this lamp, see what happens. Okay, so I've replaced the end of tape lamp, put an LED one in there. Now let's plug it in and see what happens when we power it on. Here we go. Well, the LED works. That's good. Hey, look when I hit play, it's working. Heh. Check that out. It was literally just a lamp issue. That lamp was burnt out and was keeping it from doing anything. It's pretty cool that this VCR here, I don't have to trick it into thinking there's a tape in there. It'll just, it'll just play whether there's a tape in there or not. Check that out. Oh my gosh, it's working. I cannot believe that. Wow. All right, let's put it back together and see what happens when I put an actual tape in it. All right, the tape compartment is installed. Popping in a tape. We'll power it on first. Put the tape down. Hit play. It's taking the tape. Uh, but it wouldn't play. It wasn't spinning. Let's see if rewind worked. Rewind does not work. Fast forward. No good. That spins when it brings it in. But it doesn't actually go any further. Alright, so... Next problem, let's figure out why it won't actually play now. Because it was playing when we did not have the tape installed. Here, let's take the tape out. Now let's hit play. So that's not spinning now. Or I should say the take up reel is not spinning. As you can see. And that's why it eventually kicks off. Fast forward. Fast forward works without a tape in it. Rewind. Also works without a tape. But play does not. So let's figure that one out. All right, let me show you a little trick that might come in handy if you're working on an old VCR like this. So I'm going to power it on, and apologies for how loud the video head is, but we're going to see something that when I hit play, you see tape track moves. This is kicked on. It's now moving there, and we're playing. This thing is actually working at the moment. But let me show you something that you might not would expect. If this belt is broken or loose or, you know, missing and you hit play, it's going to act like it's going to play, but it won't actually play. And we actually had two problems there. So one problem is this thing didn't kick in back here, which would put this pinch roller up against the motor. So we're gonna try that again. 
didn't quite kick in. I'm going to help it out. Let's loosen this up. There. That time it kicked in, this is spinning, but it's going to stop playing. So you might would see this with one of your tapes. And the reason is, if this wheel is not spinning because this belt is gone, it's not going to work. It may look like everything else is good. You may think that this belt is unimportant, but if the memory wheel is not spinning, which t keeps the time over here, your machine will not play. Now this is for the, for the older units, uh, the top loaders later on, this whole feature gets rid is gotten rid of. So not an issue, but if you have an old top loader, that could be an, an issue of why your video is not playing or why it kicks in, looks like it's gonna play and then doesn't. So now I'm gonna put this belt back on and now you'll see when I hit play, it's gonna work. It'll keep playing for a while, just like it's supposed to. So keep that in mind next time you're working on one and it tries to play but then kicks off. Check that out, make sure that belt is on there and it's uh, spinning properly. Okay, I did a good bit of cleaning on the inside of the VCR. Let's make sure it still looks like it's working. Head is sounding better. I lubricated it too. It's not nearly as loud as it was. So now if we hit play, kicks in, belt spinning, there we go. Looks like it's gonna work good. So let's put the tape compartment back on and maybe even test it with an actual tape and see what it looks like. All right, I've got the tape compartment installed again. And now we're gonna pop in a tape to test it out, see how it works. So, got a tape in, turning it on. Hit play. It's taking the tape. It locked in. Looks like it's spinning. It's making some crinkling noises, which does not sound good. Like it's tearing the tape up. That's gonna need to be looked into. Huh. Let's stop it. Gives me the tape back just fine. Power it off. So this pin troller back here, you can't see it. Seems to be like pulling the tape down somehow and crinkling it. It's almost like tearing the end of the tape up, the edge of it. So I'm going to take this compartment back off and, and see if I can clean that and adjust that better so it, it's not doing that. I'm going to put the tape back in and let's see what happens. Watch it right down here in the lower corner as it's going through. This is going across this sensor and through this roller. I think we might be able to see it crinkling the tape a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Power it on. Okay, sounds like it's starting to do it. There we go, now it's really doing it. Yeah, can you see it right down there? All right, it stopped doing it right now. It's about to start doing it. There it goes. All right, so we gotta figure out what, what's causing that to happen. That's gonna tear up a lot of tape, so we gotta fix that. I've got the machine flipped back over because I wanna see how these belts look as it plays. See if any of them are loose or 
not shaped correctly and might, might be causing the head to slip or the tape to slip while it's playing. I'm gonna power it on. I'm gonna hit play. They don't look too bad. This one looks a little jumpy. I might try to replace it. Let's take this other side of the boards off and see what it looks like. These belts actually don't look too bad. I really can't believe it. Can't believe they're working as good as they are. Considering how old this thing is, 1978. And it looks like it's been sitting for almost that long with the amount of dust it had on it. But it's just a going. All right, so we got it, we got it spinning. We got it working pretty good, it seems. So I'm going to pop a tape in. And let's see what the picture looks like. I got a old copy of Ghostbusters. This VCR being as old as it is, will only play certain speed tapes, SP and LP. So if I put anything that's not one of those in, probably not gonna work out too good. But let's try Ghostbusters out and see what it looks like. So I'm hitting play. It's taking it. Looks like it's playing. Uh-oh. Uh, oh no. Oh, well, we got a picture. We've got sound. The picture doesn't look terrible, except for the fact that it's shaking back and forth. I don't think this is how it's supposed to look. We have, we've got an issue we're gonna have to figure out now. We've got a picture. But you can't watch this for long without getting a headache. So, oh boy, let's let's get the wiggle out of it. So it's starting to look more and more like I probably have a bad bearing inside the video drum. I'm going to power it on. And you can hear it in there. It'll start to get this consistent beat going that you hear. And the wobble on the TV, it matches the beat coming from the video drum. So it seems like there's a bad uh, ball bearing in there. So since I'm just trying to, I'm just playing with this thing anyway, just trying to get it working. I'm actually gonna take this video head apart, see if I can find the bad bearing and if I can, we'll put some lubrication on it, see if we can get it to work better. So in order to take this off, I'm going to have to unsolder all of these wires. Not only these four you see here, but there are four more down in there, so that I'll be able to slide that off the top. And we just have to make sure we line everything back up and put it on the same way we take it off. So this is going to be exciting. We'll see what happens. It'll be a fun experience no matter what. So, so let's take this video drum apart, see what it looks like on the inside. So I believe the last time we talked, this VCR was kind of working. 
the video head was very loud and when you saw the picture on the TV the it was like wobbling back and forth horizontally so I've messed with it for a little bit and I've actually have tried to figure out what's going on with the video head so now let's uh, power it on you'll notice that it is much much quieter but you can still hear like a little, a little skip in there. So let's hit play. We should see that it'll play. That's working. Let me power the TV on and get it hooked up. All right. And now you'll see. And now you'll see that the, it's actually still wobbling. The picture doesn't look bad. The picture would be good as long as it didn't bounce back and forth like that. And if you listen to the sound that the head's making. The picture wobbles with that sound. So it's at like the same beat. So I believe there's a bad ball bearing in there. So what I've done is I've actually taken this video head apart many, many times now. Probably close to 25 times. And as soon as it stops spinning, you'll be able to tell. And so what I've done is I've taken it apart. I tried to apply lubrication to help that ball bearing, if that's the issue, I'm not even positive that's the issue. You can see there where I've soldered it on and off many times. Doesn't look great, but it's still working. I've applied lubrication. It got much quieter. As you can tell, it sounds much better than it did, but we, we still have the issue. So every time I've taken it off, I've tried to adjust the, the video head and if I move it up just enough, I can actually get that sound to stop. I can get it to where it's no longer making that noise where it sounds like there's a bad ball bearing in there. The only problem is at that point, the video head is too far away from the drum and I don't get a picture. So then I'll go back and I'll, I'll drop it down slightly. And as soon as I get it to where I can get a good picture, it's making that noise and the picture is actually wobbling. So <laughs> I can't find an in-between that is the right height where it'll stop, uh, stop wobbling, but also stop making the noise and ha actually have a picture. So I'm actually gonna stop with this one now. I don't need this VCR. I was just, it's a really old one. It's one of the first models released it's the first model released in the United States. And so I, it was just more of like, uh, can I get this working? And for the most part I have, it is playing. It will fast forward. If I turn it on, you know, fast forward. Oh, that's play. Now let's hit fast forward. It'll fast forward, that works good. You can see the memory counter is working. It'll rewind. You see that works good. It'll go right back into play. The only issue I'm having with this thing now is that the picture wobbles like that. So this is something I'll just have to come back to eventually when I have more time. I want to move on because I have other projects I want to actually get working that I'm actually going to use. This VCR was just more of just a, an experiment to see if I could get this really old, really dirty, nasty machine up and running again. So for the most part I have, but it's still not completely fixed. So I will return to it eventually and figure out what's going on with the wobble and how can I fix it. So let's put it all back together. The RCA VBT200 has now been 
fully assembled. It's looking really good, cleaned up nicely, considering the age. And I swear I will return and figure out how to remove the wobble one day. But for now, I've got to move on to other projects. So there she is. The first model VHS VCR released in the United States. Pretty awesome.